All right. Hop down. All right, you ready? Here, Campbell, here's your fishing pole. Listen, these already have hooks on them, so be careful, OK? OK. Campbell, can you get the crickets? Yes, sir. Let's walk down here and try out here by this big tree. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yeah. All right, we got all kinds of area right here. The fish are probably going to be about 10 or 15 feet off the bank. Campbell, you kind of know enough what you're doing. You can walk around and cast, OK? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, these are fat. Fat crickets? Fat crickets. All right, Leo, we're going to put you just a, you got a shorter rod and reel. This, I got, yay! I got a little the, bit shallow. Daddy, more I got shallow. the biggest one. You know what that has to mean? A big fish. A big fish? Hopefully. You know what you're doing, right? Yeah. When that goes down, jerk it and then reel them in. Leo, you got a bite. Go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You've already got one. It looks like a big one. <laughs> that thing is burning your drag. Let me hold, stop for one second. Now go. Let's see what you've got. You got him. Really. Daddy, I got one. Daddy, I got one. Oh my goodness, Leo. Yay! Look how big that bluegill is. Oh my goodness. We keep it, we keep it, we keep it. What has your sister got? What have you got there? I'm not sure. You have got a massive catfish. I thought you had the biggest bluegill of all time. You got a 10 pound catfish. Pull it up, pull it up. Reel it some more. Get it up here, Dad. Get it up here, get it up here. Get it, Daddy, get it. He's off. Hey, spit it out right there, huh? Yeah. Campbell, was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> I got one. You got another one, Leo? Yeah. That's a big male bluegill. That's a really big, Leo. Good job. I'll tell you what, now that I see how big some of these male bluegills are, we'll just keep a couple of males and we'll throw all the females back. I think I have a bluegill. Woo! That's a good one, Campbell. Get ready, Leo. You got a bite. Jerk it. Jerk it. You got him. Whoa! What do you think about that? Got another. <laughs> None of them are small, they're all big. I don't know what you have, but that looks like a big fish. <laughs> it's a bluegill. Look at that fish, Leo. This bluegill is bigger than your face, look at that. And it's the size of yours. <laughs> I mean, that. these are just, Jeez. you talk about catching bluegill as big as a pie plate, look at that. That is huge. What a pretty fish, Leo. Shake him down. Hey, I've had a great time. This has been a great Father's Day for me watching you guys catch these fish. I'm ready for a taco. What do you think? Yeah. All right. We got our fish in here and they're all filleted up. My kids love fish tacos because it's a little healthier take on fish and it's a great way to make a few fish go a long way. I start out by making my cabbage slaw. Let's get this cabbage started here. And I'm gonna cut this really, really, really fine. So there we go, that's probably enough. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some really, really hot water on that and strain it out. I'm just gonna pour this on the cabbage and let it sit there for a few minutes. Like this, this will take the coolness and a little bit of the crunch that's a bit much, take that out. So we're gonna let that set. It will green up real well too when you do this. All right, while this sets here for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and take the fish and I'm gonna chunk them. By chunk them, I mean just like dice them up. And this just helps them cook really, really fast and allows me to get a lot of seasoning on each piece. Doesn't get much fresher than this. Now, I'm gonna take the slaw now that's in this boiling water and I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. All right. Now, I'm gonna pour a little bit of apple cider vinegar in here. For about as much apple cider vinegar as I put in, I'm then gonna add 
cold water just so it doesn't overpower it. Put that in there and then pepper. And this is just a simple slaw that's really, really good with fish. Like I said, it adds a little bit of tartness. I'm gonna add some heat and it just makes a really, really, really good simple slaw. And essentially, that's it. We're gonna let that set aside and it'll be ready to go when the fish is done. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an avocado sliced up. Avocado is obviously really, really good on fish sandwiches. It also is really good with spice. Tabasco on fish tacos for me is the way to go. It's time now to start getting this fish ready. I'm gonna put quite a bit of this Kevin Deers on here. All right, I'm gonna put about the same amount of this Cajun shake here. And that's about it. This has salt and pepper and all kinds of spices in it. The next thing is to take this over and I'm gonna put it on there for two or three minutes. I like to put in about as much as I'm gonna put on a taco. Push a little olive oil into it. Pull it up in there real good. Flip it. A few minutes on the other side and it's done. So while this is hot, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on there. I'm going to get a little bit of this cabbage slaw that we've made. Put it on there. Slice to avocado. Gotta have some salsa. I like salsa that's got a lot of cilantro. Then sour cream if you wish. I like it just like this. Put a little bit of hot sauce on it. And that's it. It's about as simple as it gets. Put your slaw on there and it's ready to go. It's great served with a side of rice or black beans. And I'll tell you what, if you go out and you catch a few fish and you're like, I don't have enough to deep fry and give everybody a big mound of fried fish, try this. Your kids will probably absolutely love it. And it is fantastic. My kids' favorite way to eat fish. Really good.